everybody, Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Awari no Seraph, aka Seraph of the End, chapter 141. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm, and it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And now uh, we ain't sponsored by Shueisha. And now uh, we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus. And now uh, we ain't sponsored by Viz. And considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, it's kind of surprising, right? <laughs> but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable little Bubba Kitty right here. Hi, Keys! And this operation literally alive and kicking so we could keep bringing you more anime and manga content whether it be news analysis or live reactions like this one feel free to hit up our cash up and paypal links are in the description box below as well as the link to our patreon where we are doing our anime live reactions because Unlike YouTube, where we constantly have to worry about getting a copyright strike for showing anything on the screen, well, Patreon, we don't have to worry about that. So we could have our full setup of the anime and manga side by side, as well as have the audio to boot, which is really come in handy for busting a botch localization or two. And the more um, subscribers and views we get over there, the more anime we'll cover as well. And if you're a $10 tier subscriber, you get to choose the series we cover to boot. And there's a stack fall anime season that starts this week. So please check out our um, Patreon. The link is in the description box below. So I am so hyped for this month's chapter because we are getting the rematch of the century, which is Kai Luke versus Fred. Now, will will he get eaten? That's a great question. I can't wait to find out. Let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this month. And this chapter is titled A Reason Not to Die. My and I love this color page too, by the way. Oh, this is so, so pretty. And Kai Luke looks fabulous. My one reason to live has always um, been simply to grow stronger. Oh, Kai, look what he was human. It's so cute. Hey, boss, let us have some of the women, too. Um, sure, if you want. Yeek, Lord Luke. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, love you, boss. Yeek. Yeek, poor women. She's, they're like, no, we, we wanted to get with you, not this ugly motherfucker. Um, Lord Kai Luke, what will we advance to next? Huh? You aren't the type of guy to be um, happy as a, a mere bandit, are you, my lord? Um, meh. <laughs> I didn't really have uh, any big goal or anything. I'm just desperately trying to scrape by and stay alive. Uh-huh. You're, um, you've attracted a considerable number of mercenaries. Um, you command enough men now. You could probably take over a small domain or two if you tried. Have, um... Have any of that uh, you'd like to target first? Dude, this is so much, like, Kai Luke and Fred are, are so much alike, aren't they? They have, like, that carefree attitude. They don't, they really don't give a fuck, huh? But, like, part of me is like, uh, Kai Luke is kind of, like, conky in that way, too. But, yeah, uh, conky gave a fuck in his own way, though. Th there's a difference. Hmm, whatever the case, my life is yours. Um, I'll follow you wherever you go. Life seems like it'll be the most interesting that way. See, that's why I'm like, Kai Luke is like cocky in that way. Because that's why like he get, um, he was able to gather like an army of bandits. Because they thought he, cocky were, was very interesting. <laughs> they they liked that. Life, huh? Sure. I really didn't have a plan or any overarching goal. Uh, any overarching goal. I just try to get a little stronger every day. 14 years earlier. Oh, mama. Mama died. Listen, you must survive, grow stronger, and outlive everyone. Think of nothing else. Understood? Aw. Yes, I understand, mother. I was the son of the fifth wife of a minor local lord. Poor thing. Rumor has it the second wife has been poisoning the fifth wife's meals. Oh, what a bitch! Young Lord Kai Luke will probably be killed sooner uh, after she does. A pity. He's such a precious young man. Weaklings are no children of mine. Whoever wants my throne must be strong. I love Kai Luke. Kai Luke is like, I really 
don't give a fuck. That again, this is why I just I can't help but think of like Conky in particular, especially the look on his face. Whereas like for Red, you know, he always has that smile on his face. Um Kai Luke is just like meh. And same with Conky! Conky was like well, Conky uh, kind of had a smile on his face, too. But, like, to an extent, Conky was very met, too. It had that met look on his face as well. Mother died when I was ten. Oh, I was sold into slavery shortly thereafter. Again, this is why I'm like, this is very, this is very much thing, I think of Conky here. Um, the weak die, the strong live. It's as simple as that. But if everyone dies eventually, then what's the point of it all? Um, tell me that, mother. Grow stronger and outlive everyone. Think of nothing else. Yes, I understand, mother. Rob, kill everyone. Take what you want. You, Kai Luke, what do you think you're doing? Why do this? Mm, oh, ah, elder brother, it's been too long. I'm finally home. Rob, huh? What? We too weak, and the weak die. Kill him. Yes! Kai Luke, you're back. You've done well to grow so strong. It's like, fuck off! <laughs> Yeek, I don't blame him for doing that. It's like, dude, you sold me into slavery. Fuck off! <sighs> Congratulations on your victory, my lord. Would you like to make a public proclamation that uh, this land is now yours? Man, nah, not interested. I'll do it then. <laughs> Hey, boss, by the way, he's not boss anymore. Lord Kai Luke is nobility. Eh, that's how he became lord. I love it. Boss, boss, the women in here. Um, sure, uh, whatever. I don't care. Uh, just, just what we wanted to hear. Yee! Oh, see, again, this is why, I'm like, I, I think of Cocky in this way. Because Cocky wouldn't give a fuck. He just let them do what they want. Weird, it really feels like something just ended. Do I have to keep on living? How strong do you want me to get, mother? Stronger. Get stronger. Grow stronger and even stronger still. Grow so strong that no one can ever kill you. Ever. Ooh. Gotcha. For Red Bathory. Woo. Well, considering who he's eaten. Yeah. But. Man. This feels very. Very familiar. Where a character was haunted by their mother. I just can't remember where. He's faster than before. Can I dodge this? No. If I can't dodge it, better um, dodge it. Uh, better just to do this. Oh my god. No. If I can't dodge it, better just to do this. Ooh. Uh, he sliced himself in half. Dude, God, that was so fucking sick. So he sliced himself in half to dodge it and put himself back together. That was so sick. That is awesome. Sword, drink my blood. My blade will reach you first. Uh, let's do, the, do it at the same time then. Ooh. Nope, never mind. Those chains of yours are too freaky. What the heck did he just do? He's playing faster even than Cruel or, uh, or less car can. Are you kidding me? I thought he was just a seventh pro uh, progenitor. Hey, Gurren, maybe you should get the humans out of here. Now that I'm stronger, uh, I can see it. Kai Luke doesn't move like a fifth progenitor should. Hey, uh... Gurren! Lord Gurren! Gurren, um, if you don't kill him here, the second progenitors will catch on to how strong you've grown. Come on, I never said anything about not killing him. I have Mahiru stick around, but I can't do this while protecting all the random humans. Fine, where do we rendezvous? The hotel we hid in uh, before the catastrophe. Remember where that was? That place? Is it even still standing? <laughs> um, just go. Yakumaru! Um, we'll lay down, cover fire. Um, everyone would draw at once. Woo! The tigers look great here. You better explain this later, Gurren. Yeah. Hmm, how to kill him? How do I kill them? How did he suddenly get so powerful? Like, yeah, um, even Cruel would do that. I need to ask him that. Is that human a worthwhile hostage, maybe? Maybe not. Hmm. How strong do you think he is? He can't be more powerful than a third progenitor like Cruel, right? 
Who knows? Kai Luke has always been a second progenitor, uh, or Gale's uh, favorite, for a reason. Underestimating him is probably unwise. Aw, going to pull up your ace in the hole again? Fighting higher grade progenitors is really rough. 13th century Moscow. Oh, so we're going to see how um, Kai Luke uh, met Earth. This is going to be interesting. Die! Oh. Man, failed again, huh? I lose yet another loss. Um, why have you repeatedly attacked me across the last century? <laughs> what meaning could there possi uh, possibly be in that? Huh? Well, you're stronger than me, right? If I beat you, that'll be proof that I've grown even stronger. I repeat, what point vamp uh, vampire strength is determined by? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's determined by who made you a vampire and how long you've been one. That's it. Correct. Thus, there's no possibility of you ever beating. But what's the point in living then? Um, if you aren't growing stronger, why bother living? That's a good dude. That's such a Goku answer, and that's such a Vegeta answer too. Well, I don't know if you could say that's like a Vegeta answer too anymore, because he has, because he's changed so much. But man, that's such a. Uh, I gotta reword this. That's such a Saiyan answer. That's a better way of saying it. It is. The point, hmm? The point of living. Do you have a reason to keep on living? Uh, Kai Luke, despite being a, a despite being a vampire, huh? Dude, I love Kai. Dude, I love Kai Luke so much. I do, cause that is a great question. Does he really have a reason to keep on living? He does. Like, and I remember what I just said. This is a very Saiyan s kind of thing. That is, uh, um, is the reason that Kai Luke has been living is to get stronger. And if there was no one stronger than him, if he was, if he was the strongest, then there really wouldn't be a reason for him to keep living. He outlived the strong. And that's, oh God, it really, that really makes me want the angels to come down like sooner. I'd love to have the angels come down sooner for that reason alone. Oh my God. Wouldn't you love to see that? Just for that reason alone? But I love, uh... but like, here's the thing. Unlike, um, like say Goku or as I said with Vegeta, I don't know if you could say that with Goku as well. Like Goku has his family. Yeah. But if he, if he didn't have um, a reason to get stronger in um, in the mortal realm, he'd just go back to the other uh, other world and just and you know go fight dead people. <laughs> Shit! I mean, look what he's doing in Dragon Ball. He's fighting gods for fuck's sake, because they're stronger than him. Vegeta does. I mean, like. You would think it would be Vegeta, because, you know, Prince of All Saiyans, but Vegeta, like, has a diff- he's found another purpose in his life. He's more- he has his family. But I'm very curious what you guys think about this. Like, Kai Luke it, it has, like, that Saiyan mentality, though, is to get stronger. That's their, his purpose in life, is just to, to become the strongest. And I like, I really like that he said that. I want to, I want to go back. Is this, this dialogue here between Erd and, um, and Kai Luke, it just, it just makes me think of Dragon Ball. It does. Um, it's, it's like something you would, uh, it's like some, straight out of, uh, Dragon Ball, like something between, um, uh, an exchange you'd hear between, like, Vegeta and, uh, um, and Goku, like in the Saiyan saga in particular. Because remember, Goku uh, was a lowly warrior, third-class Saiyan, and Vegeta, Prince of Saiyans. Um, let's see. Why have you repeatedly attacked me across the last century? What meaning could there po possibly be in that? Huh? Well, you're stronger than me, right? If I beat you, that'll be proof that I've grown even stronger. I repeat, what point? Vampire strength is determined by, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's determined by uh, who made you a vampire and how long you've been one. That's it. Correct. Thus, there's no possibility of you ever beating. Then what's the point in living, then? If you aren't growing stronger, why bother living? The point, the point of living. 
Do you have a reason to keep on living, Kai Luke, despite being a being a vampire? I I I can't wait to see where this dialogue is gonna go. But like, just that that exchange just makes me think of like a Vegeta and uh and Goku, the Saiyan saga. It just does. It really does. And in a way, and also, part of me wants to say, like, kind of makes me think of, um... No, I can't say it makes me think of, like, Beerus and, uh, um... Like, wait, could you just make the argument that this is kind of like, um... Like, uh, uh... Beerus, kind of like Beerus and Goku, in a way? You could make that argument, as well. You could. You could make that argument. I'm very curious what you guys think. That kind of, that actually is a good point. You, that, I'm just realizing it. You could make the argument that this is kind of like, this exchange is, could be uh, like a, um, like a Beerus, uh, a, something like a uh, Beerus and Goku is, uh, exchange too. It's very, very true. Actually, that would make more sense. I think that's a better comparison than like a Vegeta um, uh, Goku exchange. This is more of like a Beerus and Goku exchange or a Whis and Goku exchange than anything else. Now that I'm thinking about it more, but yeah, Kai Luke, Kai Luke is just so much like Goku in that way. He's just so naive. He just wants. That's all he wants to do is just get stronger. That's all he cares about. It's just, I, I, I love, I love Kai Luke. I love how, uh, like, throughout this, though, like, Kai Luke had that cocky attitude where he just really doesn't give a fuck. And how he gained his followers is just how, like, Honky did. It really is. And I love that he got revenge, too. Again, like Honky did. Honky got his revenge, too. But this fight against against for red makes me so so happy but this is there's another thing that's going to come out of this that will be very very interesting and uh um uh, and again this is kind of like dra it will be very similar you know i'm bringing up dragon ball here but it's very similar to what we saw in the granola arc with uh vegeta and uh um and granola where you're going to have, um, like, earn strength, you know, through training, like, because that, that's what Kai Luke did, via training, um, versus, like, uh, get, um, strength uh, uh, just given to him. And, the, and that would be in the case of Fred, where he just, you know, straight up ate, um, uh, ate, vampi ate vampires to earn a strength. To gain strength. That's why I'm like, I could see, I could, <laughs> you understand, if you're a Dragon Ball uh, super reader, like I am, you understand what I'm talking about in the Granola arc. Or, hell, you could make the argument that's kind of like Frieza in that way, too. Because remember, because uh, Frieza didn't do um, much training. He barely trained to get his transformations. And, yeah, um, he ended up getting his ass whooped. He didn't learn, he just transformed. He didn't uh, master, there is the wording, he didn't master the power, he didn't perfect the power. That's what, whereas Kai Luke, he trained hard to, um, to, uh, to get his strength. There we go. That's where I was going with this. But yeah, it's going to be something, it's going to be very reminiscent to that here. Do I think Kai Luke is going to win this fight? I don't, that's the thing I don't know. I don't know if that will be the case. Do I think for um, for Red is gonna have an awakening, uh, a la uh, a la Black Free? Oh, if we get a Black Freeze moment here, I will die. Well, for Red is gonna have to tap in to what well, Red to, uh, said that get the humans out of the area. So Red's gonna have to use a good chunk of his power. But up to this point, Kai Luke, we haven't seen Kai Luke at, use his full power. I think we're going to see Kai Luke use his full power, or a good chunk of his power. I don't know if we'll see him use his full strength. But I think we're going to see him use, like, a good chunk of it. And I think he's going to have fun doing it, too. 
But let me know what you guys think in um, in the comments below. What do you guys think of um, of Kai Luke um, and his journey here? It's I, I'm real and is it kind of giving you Dragon Ball like in the way that it is for me? I am so excited. I'm really I'm really excited for this fight. I am. And do you think this is going to end with uh, Fred eating Kai Luke? That's the thing I'm not sure about. I really don't want it to end up where Kai Luke gets eaten. No, how I want this to end, this fight to end. I would not mind if this fight, because of how much power they're using, if this fight triggers the rapture. Oh my God, if this is the fight that triggers the rapture, I would not be mad. Because think about it. They're, use, they're at full strength. They're using all their power. They're going all out. That Because they're going all out, what do you think is going to summon the angels? They're using their power. So, and they're causing all this destruction to boot. So I would not be surprised if uh, this fight between Fred and uh, Kai Luke starts the rapture. I would not be surprised by that one bit. And I would love it. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that, this, what do you guys think of this fight? Um, do you guys think this is going to be kind of like the, um, in a way, kind of, actually, if it is like the Granola and Vegeta fight, and um, and Kai Luke, and Vegeta did get his ass whooped a little bit. So Kai Luke could get his ass whooped a little bit like Vegeta. But at the same time, you had gas come in into play. So that's why I'm like, you, you'll have outside parties come into play and interrupt this fight. But at the same time, I feel like because of the, the power that's being used in this fight, because they're going to go all out, and the third party is probably going to be Earth that's going to come into play here. And because they're going all out in this fight, you're going to have the rapture happen. It's going to kick off the rapture. I really think, I honestly believe this, this fight will kick off the rapture. To me, that makes the most sense. But... Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think of this chapter, what you guys think. Um, uh, do you guys think this fight is going to kick off the rapture? Um, do you guys think um, that Ur because of, you know, what we're seeing in this flashback, do you think that um, this is foreshadowing that Erd's going to uh, join the fight? And do you think that Fred is going to eat um, Kai Luke? I really hope not because I like Kai Luke a lot. But let me know your thoughts and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Again Sync. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Seraph of the End content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. And until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.